Say, are you tired of the bleak cold of winter? Maybe you're in need of a new hobby. Would you like to battle it out with friends using stunning plastic miniatures in an amazing fantasy setting? Then get yourself to the Sands of Our Moon. The facilities of the Sands of Our Moon Resort may have a skeleton staff, but they will be sure to do everything they can to make your stay a welcoming one. The Sands of Our Moon offers great gym facilities so you will never skip leg day again. Be sure to pack your sunscreen, because just one day at the Sands of Our Moon Resort will leave you as red as this book. The Sands of Our Moon is not a real resort. All holidays are non-refundable. Skeleton beach bodies are unachievable and unhealthy. Do not overdo leg day. For full T's and C's, please contact Orky. Hey folks, by now I imagine all you die-hard Kings of War players and some newbies that have maybe come come into the hobby in the last few months have seen and are super excited about the amazing new hard plastic empire of dust range the new hard plastic ogres and the other bits and bobs that have been accompanying them one of which is a brand new two-player starter set this is a fantastic uh, way of getting hold of all of those new uh, hard plastics for both empire of dust and uh, and the ogres and obviously a fantastic way of getting into the hobby and uh, and getting started um within this book as well uh, sorry within this box as well is the new big red book the uh compendium that has everything you could possibly need in it to get started in terms of uh rules updates uh, from previous faqs um all the army lists that you uh, that ne you need that are currently available um everything that you could possibly need to get gaming and that is why this is quite a hefty beast so i'll stop blabbering and let's get it open and have a look inside so first of all give you a quick show of the contents at the back there i'll run up the images as we go through them as well on the screen but you get a whole heap of infantry for both the empire dust and the ogres multiple different ways of combining them you've got your uh, boomers for your ogres within the empire of dust you've also got your cavalry as well so there's a lot in here to uh, to really get you started with uh, those two armies that down there wow look at that talk about full warehouse have done a very good job of fitting all of that in there lots and lots of bases you can tell that there's ogres in here because there's a lot of 40 mil bases and then some cavalry bases as well I'll set all these to one side so we can get to the more interesting stuff start out with these two little bags it's your resin ogre warlord and your resin uh empire dust pharaoh i won't get these out because they're obviously unbuilt a bit boring to look at but i'll pop up some images on screen really nice uh really nice new uh new models and then lots of ogres now, if you haven't already seen these uh, new sprues, there is a blog on it. Go check them out. They are absolutely stunning. By far, I think, in my opinion, the best sprue we have done to date. Uh, the goblins are beautiful. The ratkin are beautiful. There's some really nice uh, frames for firefight as well. Um, but these are just absolutely amazing. Uh, I think the proportions of them are brilliant. Like the, you know, we joke about them not skipping leg day but they, these look like beastie ogres um all your different weapon options on a frame which i think is fantastic um saves the need for a lot of uh, metal or resin upgrades um everything's already there um two different types of frames so there is a male frame and a female frame it's nice to see that we've uh, mixed the uh, the two in there and of course you know you play your games however you want to play them they could be whatever gender you, you want them to be 
uh, but it is nice to see that there's that there's representation there in uh, in two different forms. And then moving on, we have let's just get these into some order. Your Empire of Dust Cavalry. Now these are really nice. Again, uh, this, this is two two frames per bag. You've got your bodies of your horses on one, and then you've got your heads and your riders with all the weapon options on there as well. Um, really, really nice. Lots of detail. The uh, the shields have so much detail in, in each different one, and, and there's varying different, lots and lots of different uh, varieties of the shields are not, not all the same, um, which is always good. And can often be the case with rank and flank that it's it's tricky to try and add some sort of personality into your ranks of troops if they all look the same well having having different shields having different uh, faces things like that really does help um, lots of different head options uh, down here as well same with the horses all the horses look different as well which i think is uh, is fantastic and then your empire of just infantry as well these have got shields they've got bows um so they've got spears and they've got bows they've obviously got shields as well um yeah again fantastic detail like they're just that right level of not being too spindly that they're going to break but not being too chunky that they don't look like skeletons um i think these are these are really nice i would have said these are one of the best sprues we've ever done but then we went and did the ogres immediately afterwards so uh they've just been superseded in my eyes um, but they are still stunning. Yeah, four bags of those. And then get started booklet, which uh, I'll just flick through for you now. This is great if you're picking up this two-player starter set as someone completely new to the hobby. Um, really just gives you a, a good overview of, uh, of everything you uh, you get in the box and also within the hobby um so a little piece in here about how to assemble your armies again if you're completely new to the hobby always very handy um little assembly guides and then the same for painting some really nice uh, little painting guide there there's also a fantastic painting guide for the ogres just gone up on our uh, website this week so do check that out uh, Ken Strauer has done a fantastic job of uh, painting up his ogres. And then there's a nice little fluffy section about the world of Panafor, just to uh, to get you really uh, set in the immersion. If you've not, uh, if you're not, if you're very new to the world of Panafor, a um, bit of background on the ogres and a bit of background on the Empire of Dust. And then we've also put all the stats for. The ones that you can build out of this box in this little get started booklet so if you wanted to just dive head first without you know fully going into the whole rule book and, and making lists and, and that sort of thing you've got a, uh, a nice starter point at this point here um, same with the example game actions so that's uh, really useful to just have this little book for when you're getting started you know the the big book can be a bit daunting maybe to new players so to be able to just follow this as a, as a guide is uh really really helpful and a little bit about playing a campaign as well so fantastic little booklet for anyone that is completely new to either kings of war or to hobbying in general um always nice to have these in in a starter set just makes things a little more accessible for those that, uh, that are new to it. And then, of course, there's also this great big beastie thing. The previous two-player starters, when they came out, they had uh, what was known as the Gamers Edition, which was maybe a third of this size. Um, and I just had the how to play and your lists, and that was it. Um, really nice, simple um list but then this came along and this supersedes those books because this has absolutely everything in in it up to date um so we decided that going forward with this two player set 
and all future uh, two-player sets. So all future made two-player sets in terms of sets that are already out that had the gamers will now get this. This is a fantastic booklet because it has absolutely everything you need in it. There's plenty of blogs. We, we uh, shouted and raved about this when, uh, when it came out. Plenty of blogs for you to go check out if you want to learn a bit more about this. Um, but I think in terms of value, having this inside the two-player set is brilliant because you know there's a, there's a heft of your value right there in, in this book. Um, you know, if you were to buy all of this separately, um, there's, there's quite a saving in buying a two-player set. So, you know, even if you are a hardened Kings of War player, but you still pick this book up and you're thinking of playing Ogres or thinking of playing Empire of Dust or both, um, or you have a friend that wants to, wants to start, then uh, this is a great opportunity to get hold of the new book and lots of fantastic new hard plastics. So there we go. As you can see, you get a fantastic range of brand new hard plastic sprues for the Empire of Dust and the Ogres in this set, um, and also the new rulebook. So in terms of value, it's, uh, it's a no-brainer, really, if, if you're looking to pick up either of those two armies and the rulebook as well, um, particularly if you, you've got a friend that wants to play the other army. You can get, go halves and uh, fight it out over the rulebook. Um, play your very, you can play your very first game of Ogres versus Empire of Dust, and the winner takes the rulebook. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's uh, fantastic, uh, fantastic value and fantastic way of getting new people into the hobby, which of course is always one of our main aims, both as a company, but also as uh, as the community as well as as hobbyists ourselves. You know, we uh, we want to see more and more people getting involved in our hobby because then that's more and more people we can lose to. Um, <laughs> thank you ever so much for joining me, and we shall see you again soon.